look at the elliptical marquee tool, and it's great for selecting objects like this that have a circular shape to them. So in order to um, start to work with it, we're going to come up here to the marquee tool selections, and we're going to drop down to the elliptical marquee tool, which is also M on your keyboard for a shortcut. And we're going to go back to our uh, layers panel here, and I'm just going to double click on that to make it an editable layer. And I'll click on M again, and I'll just click and drag. And as I drag, it's basically forming the shape of that, uh, of that marquee tool itself. Now, what you'll notice is if I click and drag with the mouse and then depress my space bar, I'm able to actually move that uh, marquee selection tool as I'm drawing it, so then I can reshape it to the um, the object that's on my screen and get a, a more accurate selection than I have. And once I have made that selection for myself, I'm going to go ahead and just drop over here and create a new file. Then I'm going to drop that new selection in, about to 800 by 600. Go ahead and click OK. And now what I'm going to do is drop this uh, very new selection I've just made. So I'm going to click over to V for Move. And I'm going to make sure that I'm clicking inside of my Marquee Tool selection which is going to change this, um, change this icon here to a, uh, to a scissor icon that I know that I can cut that out and basically move it over to my new selection. So that I have here, I basically have it onto uh, Untitled 1. I'm going to use Control T to Command T on the Mac to basically um, resize this uh, selection that I've made here. Kind of move it towards the uh, center once again. If I need to make additional selections, I can once again go to my marquee tool and use the space bar to readjust the selection and get the selection exactly how I want it. Get rid of some of that um, black uh, outline space there on the ends. Kind of move that in some if I if I need to do that. Get a little bit more accurate and then make a, another selection at that point. So that's how we use our elliptical marquee selection tool.